Okay, we're back with James. James, we've got a few questions for you, if that's all right. Let's do it. Okay. Step right up, sir. Hi, my name's Jeff Miner, and James, I know that you just had an injury lately, mm -hmm. and you've been out longer than you've been in your whole career, it sounds like. Yep. You're coming back. Can you tell us about that, what that's like? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's uh, so in my 11 years of training, I've, I think this is my longest break of two months off. Um, I don't think it's a big deal. I mean, really, it's it's uh, it's it's not a big deal. I mean, you just take take time off, recover, and get back after it. I mean, I don't really, in terms of like, are you asking where I'm at, like mentally? How is that coming back, or is that? Well, yeah, that question. And when are you fighting next? I mean, yeah, when do you got to uh, get ready for? So, in terms of uh, mentally, where I'm at, I mean, it's once again, it's just a small speed bump in the grand scheme of things. So, I think I've been pretty fortunate to. Other than the, if you take the last six months out, I haven't really had a major injury in, in 11 years, so I'm, uh, I've been very fortunate with that. Uh, uh, fighting again right now, the TV show The Ultimate Fighter, I filmed that about two months ago. It's airing uh, Wednesdays on Fox Sports 1, so I can't really do anything until that's done, which I mm -hmm. think it's done uh, at the beginning of July. So after that, I will, I'll probably have something set up along those, along those lines. Great. Thank you. Thank you. There was one more that I wanted to ask about the cuts. Go for it. You told me that you've never been cut in your 11 years. 52 fights, I've never been cut in a fight. That's unreal for you. I have thick skin. <laughs> I have thick skin. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Hi, I'm Phyllis Kronbaugh. And I really enjoyed all of the sports, business, going back and forth. I, help, I think that helps everybody uh, apply those to their own life. But I want to jump back here to family. Yeah. Uh, I've got two 11-year-olds, and they have tried two or three different kinds of martial arts that um, we hoped, we don't expect them to be very exceedingly good at it, yep. but for protection and this kind of thing, especially being girls. Now, the... Um, once the, the type of martial arts that they've done, they have not wanted to stick to it. Do you have something that you, uh, a particular one that you might suggest that would be especially good for girls at 11? Great question. What, uh, what have they done? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, my guess is, uh, my guess is it has absolutely nothing to do with the martial art. It has to do with the person teaching it. Okay. And I don't know that to be a fact, but... Generally, uh, if you have a good martial arts program, you have a good in instructor, and the instructor's job is, we have a, we have a thing, I, th I think sometimes, uh, especially with the traditional martial arts, people take themselves a little too seriously out there. Mm -hmm. And you can't do that with kids. Mm -hmm. you ha ultimately, kids just wanna have fun all the time. And I do too. So you have to create an environment where they're having fun all the time. A good instructor is going to disguise technique and repetition within fun. So they'll, they'll, they won't know the difference. And my guess is you probably haven't found somebody that has done a remarkable job at disguising technique, repetition, martial arts within a fun setting all the time. Yeah. And uh, I think, you know, obviously doing, doing research, in my opinion, the best form of self-defense, one discipline is gonna be Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I will put an asterisk after that saying that Girls tend don't not to like that just because it's a little bit more uh, physical than than like let's say kickboxing would. But kickboxing is another uh, another amazing uh, discipline. But once again, I don't think it's about the discipline. I think it's about the coach disguising that that technique, disguising that discipline within a fun setting. Cool. I think you got something there. I think I'll bring the girls out to see you. Awesome. Thank you. Well, James, it looks like that concludes our questions for today. I want to appreciate you being here. So let's give, let's give him one more round of applause. Thank you very much, James. And this concludes our executive summit with Executive Like Magazine. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll catch you next time.